Let's take Gideon Blackblade. Now we have the option of Paradise Druid or Tamiyo's Epiphany. I think green white normally pairs a little bit better. I think Druid's a very good card. Easy Bloom Hulk, damn. Mythic common right here. Wanderer Strike over Nurturer. Deck is already great. Light Shield combos, or not combos, but works well with both Bloom Hulk and Strike. Although I could see taking the Guild Globe, as Light Shields aren't something that you need to take early. Am I not playing Vintage Cube? Vintage Cube is tomorrow. If it is. Kitty Cat or Globe? Alright, chat. It's early enough pack one that I'm going to try it. Horizons here. Ooh, Thunder Drake, too. Uh, I'd rather actually have the Thunder Drake just in case I do end up blue white. As green doesn't seem particularly useful. Okay. I did. Seven kitty cats and Oketra. Commence the endgame. Gang Young Goo. Rusty Pegasus. Hell, I could even be blue green here. Maybe splashing like the Wanderer's Strike. Other Paradise Druid over Pollen Bright, that's very good. Durant, Transmutation. Yeah, looks like white's drying up. <clears throat> and uh, Gideon was simply the first pick, so. Okay, going down this path. Sure, happy going down this path. Horizons here. I'll probably still end up splashing for the uh, Wanderer Strike, but we'll see. Actually, a big fan of the Strixes too, but I need to get the Stealth Missions and Courage in the deck. So, I actually think we want the band together here over the Samet. Notably lacking in removal right now. And band together seems good. <laughs> Dang, second Rel's Outburst, but this is a good Vraska. Pick up. Ooh, Mowu. Mowu with two new horizons. There's also that Courage in Crisis, but take the good boy. The Thunder Drake here. We're getting a lot of four drops, but that, I think that's okay. I mean, I can replace the Silver Wing, I suppose, now. Grizzly or another Strix. Let's go with the Grizzly. This plan looks good. Contentious plan or visionary. I'm going to take contentious number two. Not a very good spellkeeper weird here. Would have ended up with like three or four strays, so. Nothing too amazing. <clears throat> Question is if I want to splash the uh, the Wanderer's Strike. Guild Globe 2, New Horizons. 
and two Paradise Druid makes it pretty easy. I don't think I need to, though. I'm just going to cut the globe. I might cut Time Twist. I'm not huge on the Time Twist. Again, it's probably, probably worth splashing for. It's not hard with what I have. Two Druids and two Horizons is already four sources. Oh, fine. Sold me. I don't want to get this Guild Globe back in. It's also good for the Strixes and the Thunder Drakes. But I already have Double Contentious, which is good for that too. Yeah, could probably 16 land as well. I have a lot of 2 drops. In fact, what I could do is run 16 land and the Guild Globe. I'm going to just not even run a Plains. I think that's totally viable. <clears throat> no, I don't think a Gideon. Double colored cards are hard to splash, even with double New Horizons. Well, we lost the die roll, which is already terrible for us. Little spider friend. In best of one, these are really common looking hands, honestly. In best of one, it uses the hand algorithm. Two four spider, maybe? You know what this deck's missing? Callous dismissal. Deck is missing a callous dismissal. I don't really like the fact that my Thunder Drake's gonna end up trading for their Pollen Bright Druid and Spark Harvest, but I guess what can you do about it really? I suppose it just could be a conjurant in their hand, but I think they have a spark harvest. Charity. Oh, they're definitely going to kill my Thunder Drake next turn if they can. Yep. Figured they had that. <sighs> Again, it was either that or Conjurant, and it seemed pretty likely it was Spark Harvest, especially with the Auto Tapper holding up that black on turn three. I mean, it's kind of disguised, because I only have one island right now. Uh-oh. That's pretty good right now. They have a lot of life. That is a Munka S for sure. Surprise! I mean, they clearly have something that they can cast.
Thunder Drake doesn't do anything, but this is a snare spinner with this hand anyway, so. Let's just play out the other fatty. Fashion for fat. We're hoping they went land land off the top. That would be dreamy. Ooh, there you go. Scry a land to the bottom, maybe? Or whatever's on top. Yeah, value. Look at that value. Maybe not value, but synergy. Yeah, Vivian's Grizzly with Citadel. Pretty good, too. Ooh! Hey, life, come on! What? Dang, they're going to two? Now, Bolas can just kill my token. Are they attacking? What are they doing? What's my best draw? What do I still have left in the deck? Band together? Might be a win. Alright, there goes the Zombo. I mean, at this point, the Citadel is not doing much, which is nice. It, it, but beyond letting them play an extra, it's like, it's like a uh, Oracle kind of right now, Oracle of Moldaya. Oh no! Gain four life? Quatly with Citadel? <laughs> uh... strength returns. Wait, gain eight? How would they gain eight? Jeez, Spark Harvest now off the top. Sack the one one they just created. They had already just used Nicol Bolas, though. Well, I guess I'm dead. Yes, we did, friends. Yes, we did. I think Citadel is mainly mediocre, but Olas is very good. What the fudge is going on here? Alright, I take it. Need four more permanents to sack the Citadel. Or maybe you just have some random board clearing effect or something. Oh, well. When it's got some rares. It's got some cards. Times greed gets there. Not much I could have done, I guess. Top five, three, three, three. Thanks for that 16 months. Seems like deep.
Once again on the draw. Fortunate in this format. Two four flyer. Oh, they accidentally proliferated. Whoopsies. Yeah, I'm gonna cycle this. Find some lands. Yep, I think I think it's correct to plans for a land there. If I didn't draw one. All right. Use your trick. Promotion, perhaps? I'd rather, like, give them a 2-2. Two, two on the ground than a 2-4 in the air. Uh-oh! Somebody found a good boy and a way to put a counter on him! Hey! That's not good. Good boy does not like spider or insects. I guess that looks like a praying mantis more than anything, doesn't it? You may post a link. If you must. 7-7 seven, seven, good boy? Alright, we need to fade a strike of their own. Or a prison realm or anything. You may pet the good boy, but you may not strike the good boy. Sure, that's fine. Draw, we get to go Thunder Drake. To put a counter on it, into next turn proliferate with a 5-6. Good! Might even be able to beat a Ketra at this point. They have a Ketra. That just happened. I have lethal here. You can't beat the good boy. He's too good. Sixteen life is safe, right? Ha 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 ha. Ah, again, have not won a die roll yet. Let's draw one of my uh, flyers here. Darn. There's like a little bit of merit to just holding onto the Guild Globe for Thunder Drake purposes. But. Oh man. Humans. Blue Mulk is just good because it's a good rate all around. 4 mana 4-4 four, four unlimited is already good. The fact that it proliferates and proliferate is extremely relevant in this format is very good. Well, I think they have a burn spell in hand, certainly, or a Soren's Thirst. But given the fact that I just drew commence the get end game, I think this is the correct play. Can you imagine if I had giant growth there? Oh, so good. We're just hoping to fade the toll. Wait a minute, I can't ambush that. That's cheating. Alright. Instant speed 6-6. Six, six. Your move, OP. I 
guess Liliana's triumph is the worst case scenario. just out of uh, range of cruelty. Nice. The Drake was about to, yes, also go ham. The Flyers, or rather the uh, army is still looking pretty good here. Hey! You made my army a baby! What in the world? Baby army! Baby army! I'm gonna go, go ahead and hold the land in my hand. I don't really care if they kill the Paradise Druid. They still have mono spells in their hand, so. Four spells. Kind of scary. We did. We first picked a Gideon, and then I ended up not playing it. Whenever somebody attacks like that, I always imagine they have Massacre Girl in their hand. Massacre Girl would not kill my Dam Breaker, though. Is that the best you can do? I could Bloom Hulk here instead. finisher. What are you doing, OP? What you got? Okay, that's a good start. Have to deal with the flyer now. Oh, look at you. Look at you not dying. I think this card is okay. It's not like amazing, but it does its job, whatever that is. Still a little bit away from hitting Mythic. Or bottom of Diamond. And you only get one win, uh, one pip per win, so you need to go on a bit of a run. Or just play a lot and have over 50% win rate. At any rate, it does take a while. Would I first pick it? Yeah, I mean... Depending on the texture of the rest of the pack. For the record, I just won the die roll. Oh my god. Digging for land there. Arlen's Wolf is good, but it doesn't really do anything versus Law Reinforcer beyond holding them back a little bit. This is going to be an awkward turn if they just have like a Jaya's Greeting to kill my Assassin token, but... Missing that land drop sucked. If we didn't miss a land drop there, we'd be so far ahead right now. Pyro Helix would be insane. Oh, that's true. You could technically be like 49% given a long range. 
um, because of the when you first enter a rank. Wow, this is a snap trade. Because when you first enter a rank, you can have, uh, or rather, you can lose one and maintain. Are you right? I think I'm gonna attack. I lose two. They get to finish up. Oh wait. I shouldn't have attacked. That was bad. That was really stupid. I forgot Chandra doesn't just ping players. Now I want them to block. This was a mistake. Get punished. By hitting a land off of Chandra now, by playing since you played your land first, dude. Static abilities on Planeswalkers. I'll never learn. If it's not Chandra, then it's Teferi. If it's not Teferi, then it's Narset. Yeah, Liliana, I remember. Yep, Narset's the number one offender, in my life. It didn't look like the uh, token was going to get through their creatures anyways, but still super awk. I don't know why I tapped my Paradise Druid. Probably so that they could Chandra's Pyro Helix me here. Focus! Currently the Arlen's Wolf is good. And if I could draw if I could draw like a New Horizons off the top, New Horizons into Contentious Plan, I would be able to finish off Chandra. On the current board. Not anymore! Big lady's too big! I'm not sure what I have. They have no instants or sorceries in their graveyard currently. I guess I need to draw a flyer with the next turn or two. Okay. Oh. Oh yes. This will do. We'll do nicely. We'll do rather nicely. Immediately make it a 4 5 flyer. No At Tibalt. Okay. I mean, <laughs> if I attack Chandra, I also lose 7 life. My friend is here. No! A blocker! Blocker is cheating. Here. I think they're going to chump with Silverwing, right? Oh, they didn't. I mean, I guess that's enough value from Chandra as it is. I thought they were gonna chump and then get the ultimate active. This is be bad for you. <sighs> I suppose she's already accrued so much value as it is. Oh, so yeah, but I mean, they don't get to cast him for free. They still have to spend mana on them. Oh, I could have used that. Really could have used that.
turret ogre. Another creature that can block. They might even just attack me for three. Honestly, at this point, the Chandra did enough damage to me that they can probably just start attacking naturally. Oh, daddy! Yeah, we're probably dead now. I hit once. The one hit I had was the Thunder Drake. I don't even know what I can draw anymore. Uh oh, they're doing them. They're doing the count my creatures. How many blockers do you have? <laughs> they're not that close. They still have 12 cards. They're doing the right click attack all lol gg. This is one of the few scenarios where Bond would be good. That card is not good. Helix, okay. Well, that'll probably do it. Now, now the devil tokens hit me for two pings. I don't think there's a card I have in my deck that can win. I can't attack with the Drake. They have a 4-3 reach, a 3-3 flyer, and a 3-4 flyer. That would kill the Drake. Here we go! I wouldn't even need Plane Planes Time Wipe. I already have New Horizons already, so I could cast Time Wipe. If it was in my deck. I still have 12 cards or 10 cards. Even if I had Massacre Worm or whatever, Massacre Girl, I couldn't win this game. Oh, did I mess up? I guess I could have just taken the hit from the devil. No, because then they still have Pyro Helix. Well, the Jaya is how I thought they were going to get rid of my creature. Looks like they're going to kill the Bloom Hulk with the Jaya, though. I have eight mana. Eight cards left in their deck, 12 lands on the battlefield. They probably have at least four more lands between the card in their hand and the library.
Finish him. Finish him. I don't think they have the kill on board anymore. Chandra ult probably finds something to kill me, I would imagine. Is it seven unique instances? I think they put me to one on board. Correct. Seven to me, and then one extra with the Jaya. Alright, they have a heart fire. They also had an Aketra in their deck. I don't know even why. I don't even know why I'm bothering here. That'd be funny if I had Lazatep plating in my hand and they lost that game. <sighs> Good hand. Just need to lose to Ugin, please, no! Well, it didn't matter. As soon as they revealed the heart fire, there was nothing I could do. I draw nothing but land, cause that's not ideal. I even went down to sixteen land, didn't I? Yeah, I'm out. I'm on sixteen land in this deck. <sighs> Still nine lands left to draw. So many devils. Hope you don't have a counter. Boy, magic is fun! This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to InkedGaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.